Yo, what's happening, my people? So, this is the Shy Season 3, Episode 4, Terror Time. And this episode starts off, we see Keisha is still alive. I'm like, I'm like, hold up, hold up. Yo, that made me happy. I'm like, man, that is good. That we we know where she at. Well, we don't necessarily know where she at, but it's kind of been hanging in the in our subconscious or whatever. Being an elephant in the room, is she still alive? Is she dead? What happened? Where is she out of state? Is she turning tricks? Did did they? Is she a sex slave or something? What man? It looks like they have his old creepy dude. Man, it looked like he might be an old an ex teacher or something. He talking about daddy and this and that. He got her dressed up in track uniform. Like it looked like he's he's somebody that might have been stalking her for a while or something. So we got you know she runs track. He got a bunch of track uniforms on. He feeding her. He doing like a bunch of weird stuff. He got her locked up. And hopefully Keisha gets out of there sooner than later. Or she makes it out of there alive. But we see she alive. That is the good part. Ronnie getting baptized at the beginning of the episode. So he trying to get himself right with God and everything. Trying to change his life around. And he's trying to use God to point him in the right direction. Because it is his mission to try to find Keisha. So will, will that... Hey, a little foreshadowing for the end of the episode. Uh -uh. Emmett, Emmett Hustle is killing him. Like he's at work in the daytime uh, at Sonny's. He's dying uh, because he up all night cooking and stuff. Sonny knows what's going on. Sonny is trying to give him a chance to admit to what he's doing and stuff. He's like, ah, I'm just tired in this net. Sonny, I'm I'm pretty sure. Somebody has your spot open up at nighttime. It is the hottest spot in, in the hood for cooking and stuff. It is the famous Sonny's. Like, I'm pretty sure Sonny would know <laughs> if his business is operating at nighttime. Like, they start when the Sonny's close at like 9 or whatever. I don't know when any of them starts cooking. But I would, I would assume he would know, man. Like... Sonny just get off work and just go straight home and go to sleep. Like, <laughs> I don't know about that. Candy and Duda, they have the most trash ass sex scene in the world. That's all I got to say about that. I just wanted to point that out. Like, it was trash. That was very trash. They didn't even need to put that in there. Uh, Trig, Trig has the social worker come to the house and stuff. I'm like... Why does he have the social worker comes in the house for Jake? He don't even know if Jake wants to go stay with him at this point. Like, he has not barely even talked to Jake. But he's he's trying. That's good that he's trying. But Jake is, is staying with, like, the future mayor and stuff, man. Like, uh, uh, uh. but he's, he's putting forth effort, I guess. Jada, there's something I didn't like. Jada is now, she's trying to get in an entanglement. Not necessarily. Just wanted to use the word. But with Tom, Tomas. Tomas. So, she hugged up with him already. Like, I didn't like him from the jump. The way he hollered at her, I didn't like it. He was very rude and stuff. And now he's he's got her. She's going visit his family and... She finds out stuff about him, like he has a wife that passed and whatnot, and she's stammering over her words and, and we're putting her foot in her mouth like she usually does. Uh, she starts having a panic attack and this and that. Like she's like, I deserve more. I'm this and that. And you listen to self help tapes and stuff. I don't know. She just, Jada just, I guess I see why Emin is messed up, man. Or maybe Emmett messed his mama up. Because Jada is just... Jada is messed up. Uh, Kev, Jake, Papa. 
and the girls, them, they decide to go to this abandoned house and it's supposed to be haunted and stuff. So they running up in there and looking and being scared and whatnot. Then that is when they have the blackout. We seen this on the preview for this episode. So the blackout occurs and they're like, oh, they scared. They don't know what they want to do. They end up fussing with each other and stuff. They go their separate ways. Gemma is like, I'm going to take my chance. I'm going to go down here. You, you, trying to, you trying to get killed and this and that. I can't go down there or whatever. But then when they do start walking in the hood and stuff, J Gemma is like, I sure hope that's fireworks. <laughs> There ain't no goddamn fireworks. You stay in Chicago, you know there ain't no fireworks. That's them, them bullets. Them bullets flying. Eh? <laughs> uh, we see Keisha. Um, this is her chance to escape. This is her chance to escape. She got the blackout. Uh, the, they got cameras watching her all the time. So the camera's not watching her. She, but she's she beating on this door. But man, they got big lock locks on the, on the door and stuff. Me, I'm thinking if if I was her in that situation, like, but I'm kind of athletic or whatever. I don't know what material that window was made out of. Maybe it was bulletproof or something. I don't know what kind of money this brother put into there. I would have tried to break that window. I they they had things for her to step on or something. Man, I would have picked something up. And tried to bust that window and got up, slid my little skinny ass through there and shot out. That's what that's what I would have did, player. That's what I would have did. So if somebody kidnapped me, I'm breaking that window. <laughs> just just let you know. Let you know. But that's how I would have would have thought. But she's beating on the door. And uh, but I'm not gonna jump ahead, I'm not gonna jump ahead. But everybody wild not in the blackout and stuff, man. Uh Trig, he talks to his woman. Um, she, he finds out that uh, her father tried to kill her when he was younger, and she ended up killing him. So, as far as like him trying to get his brother, that might be something that that uh, is a hurdle for them because she has a record or whatever. Just want to put that out there. Just uh, some some little moments in the uh, some little moments to talk about. Uh, Duda is trying to be a little positive. He's running for mass and stuff. Uh, he's like, we're going to send some care packages to the people. Uh, is my camera drooping? Is my camera drooping or something? Ugh. Let me see. But Duda is talking about uh, sending some care packages to to the people. Uh he owns the pizza place, so he's like, we'll send him pizza and this and that. So he's trying to do a little positivity, but is he doing? Is he being positive or that necessarily? That's just he's he's a uh, his ploy. He's just just trying to run game. He's trying to run game, basically. Keisha fighting for her life. Uh, Emmett out here killing them plates. Uh, they end up using the smoker, so they they barbecuing chicken and stuff. Lala is is doing her thing. They making the killing because everybody gets outside. People they ain't got nothing to do. Like they ain't got nowhere to go eat or something. So he out there. Emmett is is catching her for a lick. So they racking up, racking up, racking up. He even takes some of uh some of Sonny's chicken, and they put that on the grill and start killing it. Then they have this lady. She runs up on the spot, and Lala like. What you talking about talking to that girl for? I'm thinking, I'm thinking that she about to tell tell uh she about to tell Emmett, don't mess with her. She got AIDS or something. I'm, that's what I, that I don't know why my mind went to that, but I was like, that's probably what it was. Like I know how you get down. You mess with everybody. Don't mess with that woman. She, but it turns out she a food critic or something. So Emmett is like, oh yeah, but Lala, she's so personal with her food. Like that's her art. She's like, this ain't my best work. I don't want to taste that Emmett. Hey, Emmett, hustler mentality. And he just don't care about nothing. Give her that food. And I think she really enjoyed the food and stuff. But, uh, I'm going to just skip ahead to this. Sonny comes out. He actually, he finds out what happened. He's like, I gave you so many chances to come clean. 
I thought of you as a son, and you never wanted to step up. What do you have to say for yourself? You ain't got nothing to say. Get the hell up off my premises. So Emmett's plan, it started out good. It was great. He was racking up his change. But him not being a man, it ends in ruin, as his plans usually do. Miss Ethel ran away from home. Miss Ethel lost her mind. Like she, she always been kind of, kind of off. I, I guess you could say off, but not like that bad. But I guess, man, when they do beat her down or whatever, or she might, she might have always just been like that. It might have just, we might have just not seen it as much. But uh, the woman that that does play Miss Ethel, man, she could act her ass off. That woman, that woman could act, man. Like I don't know if she was in things previously or whatever, man. But that woman, she she called. She's she's a thespian. But he pops up and he finds his grandmother like that's that's his heart. He finds his grandma. I, I can relate that like my grandmother is my, that she raised me and stuff. So you know So he, he finds it, she talking to him, she like uh he like grandma, grandma I got baptized. You been baptized, boy. I baptized you a long time ago. Your mama was a hoe and your daddy wasn't nothing. But God has a plan for you, and you're going to find that girl. <laughs> and Miss Ethel has faith in him. Like, you will find this, this girl stuff. And if, if Miss Ethel say it, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, Papa and Kevin, but that that's, I, I already kind of passed that up. But Papa and Kevin, they, they put their Mac down on, on the females and stuff. They're doing their they little thing. Like, Papa, Papa... I was about to say Papa was a player. They remind me of that Nas song, Papa was a player, that was a Papa. But, you know, Lost Tapes 1, if you want a reference. But I like Papa, man. I really like Papa. And he, even the way he, he, uh, he a real little man, dog. I can learn a lot from Papa. Like, I need to treat the lady like Papa do, man. Hey, Papa, that's dude. Uh, Duda. Is trying to instill a little something into Jake. He, he playing some jazz with him and stuff. And like, Jake is like gravitating to him. And he wants to impress him or whatever. And so, they they have a call. And so, Duda like, all right, I got to go do this. Oh, Duda, I, I want to go too. Okay. So, it ends up somebody is spray painting his, uh, his campaign signs. So, what happens with that? He like... My brother, why are you doing this? He like, you ain't no uh so and so Washington or whatever. That's the brother that was the mayor, but he came from the good part of town. He like, what did you say? You ain't no. And so Duda <laughs> whipping his ass and stuff. So Duda got that crazy uh temper. So Jake, Jake usually ain't scared or not. Like Jake is so hard. Jake was like, oh, he took off running to his brother. So maybe he will want to go run. Want to go stay with his brother? Maybe I don't know. Like Jake, Jake's act like he hard, but he really a softy at heart. He's still a kid, so there's still some trying to save him. Uh, hopefully, hopefully nothing bad happens to him. Uh, Sonny checks Emmett. I kind of said that earlier, but uh, and then the episode ends off. Keisha finally gets loose. She breaks through the door, and but that really that messed me up. Cause she breaks through the door, then they have another door. She's messing with it and stuff. She she gets through. Oh, she she goes through and she. Oh, thank God. Why are you staying around the house? You run track. Get the the hell on, man. I would have been looking like Forrest Gump on the on that gift. Would have been gone. But she, huh? And the homeboy snatch up. But we hear Ronnie, Keisha, Keisha, is that you? So he hears it. Will he say, Will he find her in time? Will he be the one to save her? Will he see that house? And I think they, they might play this off of, you remember there was a, a an actual scenario that this happened. They had these females that, this female that was uh, entrapped. And this black, this black dude, Heard her and he took her out the house. And he, he like, he like, or, or she ran up to him. And this brother was like, I knew something was messed up because she ran up, up to me. 
she ran up to her brother. I knew something had to be messed up, but that was like an actual thing. I don't remember where it was, but this dude got arrested because he had uh, kidnapped this girl. Will Ronnie be in that scenario, man? I hope Ronnie does save her or whatever. I don't think she's going to die being that they already had a situation where she has dodged death. We thought she was dead, but it wasn't her. So, that's something. I hope they don't stretch this the whole season. But I think, will will next episode be the last episode? I think somebody somebody told me it was only going to be like six or seven episodes this season. I don't know that for sure. But I hope Keisha gets free next episode, man. We will see. But like, comment, subscribe. Going to be the greatest and the most hated, man. I really enjoyed this episode, man. I hope that y'all enjoyed it too. Uh, Emmett. What is going to happen to um, his hustle and stuff? Like, he's going to have to try to become a man and really find something that works for him. Uh, other predictions? I don't really have any other predictions or stuff. I'm going to just end it right here. I don't want to be too, too long. But I'll let you boy, man. Peace out.